Hey guys, what's up? I'm back in my shop again because I bought one of these cheap Alibaba carbon fiber saddle. I can't call it an unboxing because there was actually no box. All it came in is just this bag, no instructions, no nothing, just a bag, and then that uh, packing material. Anyway, so here's the saddle itself. As you can see, it looks really pretty nice. I was impressed initially by how it looked. And um, so far, the, it looks really nice. Like the size was good, everything looked fine. I did notice one small detail. Now for me, this doesn't bother me at all, but I know how some people are. Some people don't like small imperfections. It will drive them crazy. This is purely cosmetic though. Do you see it? Do you see the issue? It is kind of hard to see, but over here on this side, if you look at this uh, Superlogic logo, which I guess is the brand, it is in alignment with this, uh, this other larger Superlogic logo, right? It looks pretty good. The spacing is good. But now you probably see it already. Over here, look how small the space is right there between the two logos. And then it gets bigger as it comes out here. That's the only problem I've seen so far with it, if you even consider that a problem. Otherwise, everything looks, I think, nice. Okay. But anyway, right now I'm going to go ahead and take my old saddle off so I can sit them side by side. We can look at the differences, look at the sizes, look at the weights, all that. And then I'll stick the new one on. Maybe later today or tomorrow I'll go for a ride and let you know what I think about it. Okay, so here's the two saddles side by side. As you can see, they're roughly about the same size. Just by picking them up, I can see that I can feel the weight is quite different. Anyway, um, this saddle, by the way, is from my mountain bike, my 1997 Giant ATX840. So my existing saddle was 338 grams. Let's check some other ones I have in the shop, too. 298 for that guy, so pretty close to the same. And just for fun, I have this big, soft cruiser seat. Let's see what that weighs. Exactly 500 grams. And here's the interesting part. What is this guy going to weigh? 122. So that's really great. Actually, with this saddle, I'll be saving 196 grams. So basically 200 grams just by changing the saddle. And this was only about, I want to say $18 shipped to Switzerland. So that's really cheap. Anyway, I guess that's enough talk. Let me go ahead and mount it on the bike. All right, here we are back at the bicycle. This is my... ATX 840 converted mountain bike to road bike. So it still has the original mountain bike seat post and seat post equipment. Doesn't matter. Today we're going to try to put this new carbon fiber saddle on here. Now the one thing I'm a little bit worried about here is how tight do I tighten it because this is carbon fiber. These are carbon fiber rails too. So I don't want to over clamp them obviously and bust them. And I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm going to just take it really easy here. Try to clamp them down correctly. Alright. I hope that's good. I'm not going to go any tighter right now. Just good and snug, but not too bad. Too tight. Let's go outside and take a little bit closer look at it. So what did I think about it? First of all, there's no denying that it's less comfortable than a standard seat, kind of like my old one. Wearing regular street clothes, regular jeans or whatever, it's pretty uncomfortable for me, to be honest. I, it's not comfortable. It's okay for a short ride, maybe 15, 20 minutes. That's okay, you can tolerate it, but I wouldn't want to go an hour or so uh, without proper biking shorts with this saddle. That said, when you do have proper biking shorts like I do have, 
and I did two of my rides with. One of them was about two hours, and the other was about one hour. Then it's not too bad, not too bad. Okay, it's not quite as comfortable as the other, but it's not too bad. I don't know if I would want to go over like four hours on it, but at least two hours was totally fine. I could have easily done one more hour. So, conclusion is probably if you want to saddle for riding to work and back and you don't plan to put on cycling shorts with pads in them, you're not going to like it and it's not going to be comfortable. If you plan on doing kind of normal road bike rides, one hour, two hour, three hours with padded shorts, then probably you can get away with it too. Probably it'll be fine. But it's your choice. If you do have any questions or comments about the saddle that I've reviewed, please go ahead and put them in the comment box below. I'll be happy to answer those. Otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.